Hello everyone. Some of you ask me to explain why we in Africa lost acacia as a genus name. For a long time, a large number of plants from different parts of the world were lumped into the genus acacia, and they often had acacia or thorn in their common name. At this time, uh, acacia was the second largest genus in the family Fabaceae, and it contained 1,300 species. About 960 or 74% of them were native to Australia. Uh, the rest were spread around the warmer areas of Europe, Africa, Southern Asia, and the Americas. Examples from Africa include the camel thorn, the umbrella thorn, the scented pod thorn. With the advent of DNA analysis for systematic purposes, it was shown clearly that the genus Acacia, as it was then conceived, was polyphyletic. That means that they were not a naturally related group of plants with a single lineage. Clearly, the genus Acacia needed to be split into different genera based on closer relationships, and evidence suggested that five genera would be needed. The type species of Acacia was Acacia scarpides, which is a synonym for Acacia nilotica, known as gum arabic tree but also as a scented pod thorn. I've made a couple of videos about this species if you check back on my timeline. Now, given that this species was the type species of the genus, then according to the International Code of Botanical Nomenclature, uh, all of the species closely related to Acacia nilotica should keep the name Acacia. This is under the principle that botanical names is fixed to a taxon by a type, for example, a type specimen for species or a type species for a genus. There is no scientific basis for overriding this rule, which exists for the purpose of stabilizing the nomenclature, that is, the scientific names of uh, plants. This rule can be overridden by the International Botanical Congress if there is sufficient support for it. Effecting this rule would mean that Australia would have to deal with changing its 960 species of acacia to a new genus. Australian botanists felt strongly that keeping the name for its 960 species was necessary as reclassifying them would create a much larger, larger uh, name change burden than reclassifying the smaller number of species in the rest of the world. Of course, overriding this rule was proposed by Australian botanists. So watch the next video to see how that played out. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.